Uh, what we're showcasing here today is our Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. Uh, Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, which was awarded back in August of last year. Uh, we're just starting deliveries now. Just last week, we officially delivered. And what we really want to showcase here at AUSA is number one, the JLTV itself. Number two is the capability that the JLTV has. So one of the things we're showing on it right now is a medium caliber weapon on our JLTV. That's designed to show the flexibility of our platform that indicates that we are agnostic when it comes to C4 systems, weapon systems, etc. We're designing the vehicle for today's missions, today's requirements, but also room for growth for future mission requirements and future capacity. So that medium caliber weapon, which isn't necessarily a requirement at this time, just shows our flexibility and able to do that. Because these platforms will be out there for 20, 30, maybe even 40 years. So we've got to have that capacity to grow and change as the requirements uh, change as well. We do the same with our C4 integration as well. Uh, this one's an EOS weapon system. Uh, Kongsberg does have a comparable system as well. There's a few of them out there. Uh, and that's why we're showing that we're agnostic when it comes to the weapon system itself. Say so last week we delivered our first vehicles, starting with you know some of the test vehicles. Uh, every month from now on, for uh, many, many more months, we're going to be delivering vehicles to the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps for testing and so forth over the next, uh, probably the next year, I think year and a half, they're going to be doing a test program before a full rate production decision here in the first quarter of 2019. So the vehicles were steadily ramping up on production, a few the first month, and then we continually ramp up. It's a very deliberate time phase program with a nice steady ramp up. No, no, no worries, no challenges from a uh, delivery standpoint.